In this video, we're going to take a look at working with SimpleSteps Raster and SimpleSteps SmartRip 4.0 to color separate a vector design using SimpleSteps Raster with the objective of reducing the number of colors that we'll be printing with on press, but still getting a quality print using a simulated process method printing with halftones. Here on my page in Corel Draw, I have a copy of a customer supplied file. Actually, one of our clients printed this. Now, this was taken with a digital camera. It looks a little bit dark. Sometimes when you're doing photography with digital cameras, you really don't get a good color representation. It depends on the lighting, where you are, etc. But you can see how close these two are. Now, this was printed using just black, red, yellow, and green. So no orange was printed and no brown was printed. So going through Simple Steps Raster and using simulated process style color separations, we can reduce down the number of colors, but still get a very good or high quality print. As you can see, it looks like there's a lot of orange in here but there was no orange in the print. It looks like there was brown here, but there was no brown in the print. The brown was made with yellow, red, and black, and the orange was made with the blend of the red and the yellow. And we do that using interlocking halftones. And we'll go ahead and take a look at this here. Go ahead, delete that, and I'll delete these product boxes up here. The first thing I want to do is just go ahead and bring this down on my page and do some analysis on the image. And I'll go ahead and change my page to a landscape here. And we'll go ahead and just zoom in here. And we'll take a look at some of the colors here. And I'll get my eyedropper and I'll just eyedrop on this Pantone. Now this, if I color separate this Pantone, it's not a pure red. So Simple Steps Raster, when it separates, it separates pure red. So we want that to be pure red so we get solid text when we do our printing. We don't want to do halftone text. So the first thing I'll do is I'll make some adjustments here. Go ahead and select everything. I'll go to my advanced tools and I'll go down here to Simple Steps 4. That'll go ahead and load. I'll bring this over. to where I can see it here, I'll go to color management, go we'll create selection palette. I'm going to select this red, I'm going to come down to replace, and I don't know if there's going to be outlines, but I'll go ahead and select both fills and outlines. I don't need preserved tints, and I'll go to replace. I'll just come in here to the RGB color space, and I'm going to come up here to a pure red, because that's what Simple Steps Raster is going to separate. Whatever you select in Simple Steps Raster, it's going to need to be a pure red. That being done, I'll go ahead and close this, and then I'll come here to Advanced Tools again. Now remember, if you're in X7, you're going to have to go through Windows, Dockers, and all the way down the bottom to Advanced Tools, but I have this here. So I'm going to go to Simple Steps Raster, and let that load. And I'm going to go to the Auto Steps tab, and I'm just going to select Red, Yellow, Green, and then I'm going to come over here to Click Steps, and I'm going to select my Black. Just those four colors. And I'm going to simulate my brown and my orange through the simulated process printing and through these separations. I'll just go ahead and click on Click Steps and let that process. Once that's finished processing, you can see my monochrome bitmap objects, which are my color separations in CorelDRAW. I'll go ahead and ungroup these. And we'll go ahead and close raster. We won't need that anymore. And we can see what's happening here is that we are creating, and i got to click off here, we are creating the brown with red and yellow and the black. And we're creating the orange with red and yellow and some of the black. And I'll hit Control Z and bring that back. So the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and select everything here and I'm going to make sure everything's set to overprint outline. I'll go ahead and click off and just to make sure it all is clicked back on to make sure that that is. Then you can go to View Simulate Overprints and you can see that we have an excellent color separation here. The next step for me is going to be to go ahead and prepare this for printing by converting it or ripping it to halftones through Simple Steps 4. And I've brought this down to just those colors. I'm going to do that as a simulated process print. So I'll go ahead and do my half toning using interlocking. I'll go ahead and we'll go here to the color management tab, click on create selection. Now this is going to be converted to Pantone, so I'll go ahead and select all. And you'll notice that the color will change because the Pantone, the way it renders in draw, we'll go to one click here, processed, and that's ready to go. Then I'm going to go to my separations tab. I'm going to go to half tones. And if you need training on interlocking, it's available on advancedtshirts.com, both the Simple Steps 4 training series and in the Simple Steps Raster training series. We get into a lot of things about interlocking, the why and how. You can check that on our website. I'll go to all black here. And what I'm going to do with my black is I'm going to change this black to, let's say, an angle of 52. I'm going to use a hybrid of interlocking with rosette. So I'll change that to a 52. I'll come down here and I'm going to go to my green. I'm going to change my green to 52 and I'm going to interlock that with the black just so that that's interlocked. And then I'm going to come down here to the yellow and I'll go ahead and interlock that. Now what's going to happen here is where I have the green is going to be interlocked with the black. 
and my red and yellow are going to be interlocked, but my black is going to be offset at a rosette angle so it's not so much dot on top of dot printing on top of my other colors. And I'll go ahead and click on Generate Color Separations and we'll let that process. Now once that's finished processing, we've got a halftone preview here. We'll go ahead and take a look at this. We'll go ahead and zoom in where we can see the halftone dots. We can see that they are indeed interlocking and that the black is offset just a little bit. So you can see the yellow interlocking to the red. That's going to give us a really good ink coverage and a really good blend. Now these don't render, render very well in CorelDRAW, but if I take this and I go to bitmaps here, convert to bitmaps, and I'll go 300 dpi RGB, don't need the transparency, select OK, let that process, you can see that even though there's no brown or orange in the actual print, you're going to simulate that color by printing with the yellow and the red and the black with the interlocking halftones and the offset of the rosette. And there you can see how the print would look even though there's no orange or no brown. If I want a bit of a better look, I can go to Blur and just give that a Gaussian blur of say one pixel, select OK. And you can see that how even though there's no red or brown, it's going to look like that when you print it. So we've been able to effectively reduce the number of colors that we're going to need to print the graphic and we're still going to get a quality print using a simulated process style color separation working with a vector design that we want to reduce the colors in using Simple Steps Raster. Once again, if you want more training on the interlocking halftones and working with Simple Steps Raster and Simple Steps Smart Rip 4.0, you'll find that in advancedtshirts.com under our video tutorial section where we go in depth on the interlocking halftones and how we use them and why. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next session.